Right. That was some race to get here, but it looks we're gonna make it. So with all the lens flare you could possibly imagine, I'm here in UCD. Uh, we're here for Division 1 in Ireland, which is the second tier, uh, while we're shrouded in lens flare, really. But that's because UCD are playing Port Leash. It's the final game of the regular season. Both teams are ready in the playoffs. But the winner today, guaranteed home court in the quarterfinals. Depending on other results, could also get home court in the semis. Going to go in, take a look at it, and uh, we'll see what's going on. And number 26 is Liam. For the home team, 55, Jonathan Jean, 24, Toby Christensen, 33, Sasha French, number 10 is Rowan Barnes, and number 13 is Matthew. Pretty much a full house of 300. Quite a few from Port Leach. Obviously, the, both teams are already in the playoffs, Second but because seedings at stake, uh, everybody's come out. Right. This could be the last home game for UCD Malgan this season. That right there is Connor Meaney. He's 55 years old and has six kids and nine grandkids and is still playing. Okay, that's a lie. But still, look at this now. He's gonna. No. Thought he was going to time the shot perfectly. And a nice assist. Look at the old timer running back there. That's there, Satiris. This is true. He used to work in the shop downstairs for my old job. Connor trying to reason with the official long after the calls are made. It is extremely weird to me that the fans here are largely staying quiet during free throws. This is very extremely not European in every way. That's more like it. So end of the first quarter, UCD Marion Lee Port Leach, 26-17. Fun one so far. Uh, obviously great to see Connor and Soft both get on the court. There's some of the young fans here. But um, yeah, no, great game so far. I was rushing to even get here was I was commentating on volleyball before this. Game wasn't in Ireland, it was in Germany. Commentating in Dublin on its game in Germany. I had to race, get that bus, get back out here. Made it just in time for tip, thankfully. But uh, yeah, 10 point lead for UCD, Marion. Middle of the second quarter. Bit chippy out there, so we'll see how it pans out from here. Now you may be noticing the floor here. So we've got a uh, volleyball, obviously. Bit of badminton, uh, indoor football, handball also, and uh, I guess basketball is there too, but uh, not your typical floor. normally include free throws in my video but like Sot used to sell me sweets and crisps you know and me lotto so he makes the first good to see you scoring Sot what's against him and that's the half you see Marion Lee 52 to 41 so yeah uh, quite a first half facing this way because you get lens flare if I face the court uh, and yeah, like Chippy is one way of putting here. Like I was just outside there, some more Leafs fans think this is the greatest robbery in the history of basketball. Uh, first, I to think it's a Chippy game, pretty fairly called, but uh, obviously I'm a terrible person for thinking that. Uh, I didn't say a word to them. I, I want to get out of here alive, get to the pub, have a couple of pints, you know? 
Uh, but yeah, yeah, good game. Half time, about midway through the half time break here. Uh, looking good. If I look a bit under in the face, it's because uh, so I was having a chat with Paul, the PA guy there. He thought he turned off the PA, and my uh, very honest thoughts on the game so far went out over the PA, uh, which led to a Fort Lewis fan being a touch upset. Uh, although she had a good laugh about it, but yeah, uh, so uh, I still get out of here alive. are back in a big hole again, 65, 78. That'll help them a lot. Well, this one ended up a blowout in the end, but quite a chippy one. For at least lost offense here by the looks of it. Well, it's just going to see the dribble it out. Victory 91 of 73 for UCD Marion. Pretty chippy one there, but how did you feel about the performance? Oh, uh, like we play against one of the best teams in the league. It's realistically okay. Like they're, they're in the top in the, in the league, like for the whole season almost. So uh, we're very pleased with the performance, and also we're very pleased with uh, the result. And I was with the result. You get home court for the next two games. Well, how important is that to you? Uh, listen. Uh, regarding the last year we had, after the last year we had, uh, the only thing we had as a goal this year, it was our player to gain some experience and to come back to a winning mentality. And thank God uh, uh, we succeed both of these things. So uh, we did have as a, as a, as a main uh, goal to go up again. Okay. Uh, now it's very important to have the home uh, the home advance, but playoffs they're very tricky. Uh, we see what happened last year to Tolga Rovers, so it, it's it means nothing. It means nothing if we don't play well. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, Werner! 
You're 55, you got six kids, nine grandkids. How are you feeling after that performance still going at it? Uh, yeah, fun. It's nice. It's good to play in the games like that in UCD. Like, it's packed out and a lot on the line. And Poor Leash are a very good team. Uh, they're one of the better teams in the National League, obviously. So, enjoyable playing in nights like that with a great crowd from Poor Leash and from uh, ourselves. So, yeah, fun. And obviously, you're on a really long winning run now. Like, you know, a lot of those things stems from the cup win earlier this season. Do you feel that sort of spurred you guys on for the run you've been on lately? Uh, yeah, it, it, look, I think at the start of the season it took us a while to adjust to National League basketball. It's very different. Even tonight you can see it's a bit of chaos. Uh, and, um, so it took us a while to adjust and then uh, we've been good since about the start of December and then obviously John coming back in as well helps boost that as well. So uh, yeah, we've been on a good run. Poor Leach obviously beat us after the cup, but other than that we've been doing pretty well. So like what's now? Epsom salts, like a good book, what's the plan? Uh, We've got a busy, busy Paddy's day with uh, the kids and everything else and just rest up and enjoy being, being part of it and look forward to the playoffs now next week. So, uh, obviously, you know, I'm more used to seeing you in the shop downstairs. I moved jobs recently, but how are you feeling after that result, man? Uh, very, very happy. Uh, just, uh, just get serious for the playoffs now. We want to win it all. We're not satisfied. Uh, like, for this side, like, obviously, it was a, you know, pretty chippy game out there. How did you find it yourself? Oh, uh, yeah, it was a very tough game. Uh, loads of fouls, drops down low, but I loved it. I loved having a great idea. And most importantly, are you sad that I'm no longer coming to you to buy the lotto? Yes, <laughs> extremely sad. I need to come for next time. So with that, UCD got home court in the playoffs, but as you heard, Jonas Lepike is saying he doesn't care about the home court, he cares about winning those games. But like, great atmosphere here. The only downside to this trip was, because I was rushing, didn't get to try the delights of the food at Belfield. Although maybe, from my own memory of being a student here, not the worst thing. But yeah, we'll be on another trip extremely soon, actually. Uh, as in, it's going to be a couple of days away uh, before we go for a couple of weeks later to one a bit further afield than our next trip. But if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. It helps so much. Share, like, comment, tell your friends. All those assorted annoying things. But listen, thanks for tuning in and catch you soon.